What's going on everybody? It is I, Strix, back at it with more Marvel Snap and we're playing the new Galactus uh, based on how to play the new setup for Galactus which is a 6-7 with a few more added requirements. Uh, I have to win the location, he has to be alone, it's, it's, a, it's, a, whole, it's a whole thing but it's fine because we have strategies. There are plays we can do. So let me let me show you a few of my my strategies in play. Okay. So, well, first off, no play is going on right now. Now we can do turn three is when it starts getting spicy. First, we got electro going. So we're gonna start ramping up. Gonna ramp it up. All right. So asteroid and pulls him over. I actually was trying to get it destroyed with Hala, but. Uh, I misplayed it, not Asteroid M. I didn't know Asteroid M was going to pull him over. But then Storm gets rid of Asteroid M, so great. Appreciate it. All right. Hobgoblin. So now that I have Electro, I can ramp up. So here's the main strategy for using Galactus, right? You use Hobgoblin or Green Goblin. You start kind of like creating a negative space for your opponent. So that way when you play, in, play with Galactus you are already in a positive winning situation. So I have to win the location. So boom, Galactus just wins because Hobgoblin's on the other side. It creates a 15 point gap. So I've already pretty much, yeah, I've already pretty much won. So that's how you that's how you play the new Galactus. That's the new strategies for it. So there you go. All right. Okay, so this, this has no game audio. This video right here, so I'm gonna do my best to um, play, make the sounds. Okay, um, there's Bifrost. Oh, he's playing a move deck. That's unfortunate. So, okay, Westview. So with Bifrost moving things over, it's gonna be harder. Don't got another card. Don't got another play. Okay, he's playing Iron Fist. So standard move. Okay, Washington D.C. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna ramp because I believe. At least within the next few turns, I'm gonna get something. Okay, he plays Vulture. He skadooshes him over to the side. Boom! Electro um, ramps up. So now I got cards to play. Eternity range. Okay, watch this play. All right, I'm snap. Boom! Oh, snap! Okay, so now Doctor Strange he moves his card over. He brings Vulture over, right? And now what's gonna happen is I am gonna go friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. Pink, right, and then by frost moves everybody over now because of electro. I've ramped up, so next turn I'm gonna drop big G, and big G is gonna destroy everything. So, uh, this is how you this is the importance of knowing locations and your cards because, yeah, he's got all this power, he's got all of these cards, but it doesn't matter in the face of Galactus. <laughs> Yes, destroy everyone. All the hard work you put in to try and make it work. Useless, futile, before the man himself. And I'm just gonna throw a bunch of cards at him. Uh, so here, let's, uh, here, take a GG, I'll take a ha HG, take Hobgoblin. And here's Zero, and here's Snow Guard. Here's Snow Guard. And what do you got, Heimdall? You broke even at best, but my guy was over before it even started. So, GG's, get good before facing me. All right, uh, dude, the dense bunny. Okay, what do you got for me? What do you have? Okay, Attilin. Okay, Attilin is, it can be uh, a good thing or a bad thing because if I don't have the cards I want, then perfect, it's fine. If I do have the cards I want, then I have to play them quickly. So right now I don't, so I am looking forward to shuffling soon. Okay, so now I have uh, I have New York opening up and here's the sewer system as well. So I wanna play as many cards as I can because priority is also important. If I don't have strong cards in locations, I don't have priority to summon Galactus. So that's why it's also important. That's why I have cards like Zero and Abby Ma, so that way I can play them early in the location, so that way I can get priority for myself before I play Galactus. That's that general idea. 
Alright. I got Green Goblin, so I'm gonna play him. I like playing Green Goblin whenever Angela and Angela Angela is. Uh, because it just creates a foil. Alright. Okay, perfect. We have the setup. Here's Wave. So Wave is going to limit summons, which is great because it's also going to limit Bishop, it limits Kitty, it limits so much plays. Okay, oh nice, Enchantress, delete Ebony Maw's ability, which is weird. That's fine, we'll take it. So now it's only, it's down to one card each. And I'm going to bet, I'm going to bet that they're not going to play it in Sewer System. So I'm going to play it in Sewer System. I'm going to snap, and I'm going to destroy everything. I don't know. It sounds like I'm going into anaphylactic shock when that happens. But wouldn't you also get into anaphylactic shock if if Galactus were to just come in and just destroy anything before you actually died? You would, right? You would. That's just a matter of fact. So, yeah, that's just yeah. You would. You would die. You would die. you buddy. 